Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update. Well, for one thing, I did get my hair done. It, this is the day after effect, and I've had to zhuzh it up a little, but it's not quite as white blonde. Uh, it's a little more natural looking, and I think when I go back again, I'll have a little more highlights put, put in that much more so that whiter, lighter blonde shows. It's not quite as... Um, Zhuzhi as I usually feel like my hair looks, but it I feel like it looks like me and it, it's a good step one direction toward a different new me and um, and that's it about the hair. I hope you can see it. Uh, but I wanted to say something else. I, you know, I am really struggling this week, not with food, um, not with anything. You know, I'm not getting to the gym like I planned to. Other things have taken over. I still walk the dog, so, but I just want to say there's a lot of mental health discussion going on these days on, on, um, around the weight loss community. I mean, there's a great article on Melting Mama's site, and she's got a reference to an article, and then I was talking to Sunny Day the other day on the phone, and she mentioned something she'd read. It might be the same article. Um, that morbidly obese people or, or heavy women or whatever have a higher percentage of, you know, some mental disorder. Which doesn't surprise me because I've suffered from depression most of my life, and I know other people have too. I just wanted to say, for the record, I am going to start taking my Cymbalta again. I started this morning because I have cried a little bit every day for the last week for no reason. Um, if I'm hormonal, I'd never know because I'm 52, and even though I'm not really through menopause, I um, have a little low-release uh, progesterone thing going on inside my body that uh, keeps me from, well, anyway, you men don't want to know about what happens during perimenopause with your monthly visitor. They visit about every four months, and then then you can't leave the house. So, uh, so that helps, and I had that right before surgery, so I've not had any monthly visitor. But I don't know what hormonally goes on in me still or doesn't. And all I know is I'm weepy and I sat down this morning and I uh, read some stuff or watched some stuff on YouTube. And, and I realized that, I, you know, it doesn't matter how thin I get. I still have this depressional issue that's going to come and go, this esteem issue that gosh knows you guys couldn't say nice enough things about me all the time. And I really appreciate it. But when it gets down to it, do you really do you really love yourself? And I could just answer in a flat line, no. And there's no reason. There's no reason. And I could do the whole, well, I'm thin enough now, so I should be able to love myself. I mean, that's the most obvious way to look at it. But it's really not about that. There's something deep in my very core that I can't connect with to love myself. And I feel so needy for love. I mean, ridiculously, and my husband's been gone for a month, and maybe it's just that. But I, I feel some other, you know, kind of primal needs rising up within me, and I don't like it. And um, so today I took my first Cymbalta, which I have not taken since surgery because I didn't want anything to affect my weight loss. And I, even though Cymbalta is the pill I chose that wouldn't affect your weight gain because... When I had my little meltdown a couple of years back, um, I was given a quick antidepressant, you know, from the triage kind of experience of going in saying, I'm desperate, help me. And they gave me one I knew was going to make me blow up, and it did. And that's when I got heavy enough to get to have the surgery because I blew up like overnight, like within two weeks I'd gained 30 pounds. And it literally was the pill. It wasn't anything I was eating. And so that allowed me to get approved for surgery because I reached over the BMI. So I'm grateful for that, but at the same time, I, I didn't want anything to affect my success with this procedure. So last fall, I stopped taking the Cymbalta, and, um, and I have been fine, except now that I'm getting towards the end here, I feel things starting to come up. And I could go see the psychiatrist who prescribes the Cymbalta for me, although we really don't have a talk therapy session, particularly we run in, touch base, and she gives me the pills and I leave, um, because that's how Kaiser works things. Um, but I almost feel like if I went in and said I'm still not happy, she would just look at me and say something that wouldn't be helpful. Um, I, I, I feel like the pills might just be what I need. Maybe I need something to balance me out. So I just want to encourage anybody who 
thinks it's all going to be great when you're done. That's not true. And in my life, it's nothing, I have nothing to complain about. My life is the same. It's good. It's balanced. It's just I'm starting to not deal with the little stresses of things that are put upon me at the last minute to fix something, to, to save something, to make something happen. Um, I've noticed I'm starting to frazzle a little bit at the edges. And that's the old me. And so I'm going to take my Cymbalta and see if it helps me be able to just cope with the little things of day to day that um, it used to. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to say have a good weekend. And there's the hair. And uh, and I'm sure I'm fine. I just wanted to share. If you need help, get help. If you need meds, take meds. Um, being thin doesn't make you automatically feel any more like you're able to love yourself or receive love from other people than you did before, even though you think it might. So, I love you guys. And I'm fine. I just wanted to say, it is what it is. See ya. Bye.